Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to explore how to create uh, another sea life form which I call the starfish. Uh, as you can see here uh, this looks like an animal that is moving uh, on the water but uh, uh, ultimately it's a geometric construction uh, and we're going to learn how to do this. I hope you are excited about it. Alrighty, the first thing we're going to do is make sure you have Geometry Sketchpad 5.0 or higher. And uh, I would like to open here a, a blank page because I already have one already. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create two parameters uh, that I'm going to call, let's call the first one uh, angle. So I'm going to call this angle. And uh, press the angle option here so it gives us in degrees uh, initially I'm gonna put here uh, something like 30 degrees uh, don't worry about it we'll change that and let me make that uh, visible for you and then the second parameter we're gonna create go to number new parameter I'm gonna call that uh, ratio and you will see how these are gonna be used uh, in a minute and initially let's have the ratio as 0.9 okay and this should be uh, a ratio so you should not have any units I okay that and let's make that also visible now uh, we're going to start by constructing a regular pentagon if you've already uh, watched the uh, polygon construction videos that's great so this will be easy for you uh, so I take a segment tool and I go from left to right and I construct a segment then I double click on one of the endpoint, the left endpoint, and select the entire thing, transform rotate. Now you might remember from an earlier video that uh, interior angle of a regular pentagon is 108 degrees. So I select that option. And then I keep doing this until I have my pentagon. So I'm gonna now double click on this endpoint, select this segment and the endpoint, uh, transform rotate, double click on this endpoint, select the segment and the other endpoint, rotate, uh, etc. Uh, the last segment, I recommend you conclude that with a segment tool, test your uh, uh, pentagon, great. Now, if you already have a pentagon tool from an earlier construction, you actually could have skipped this step and just used that instead. Uh, I'm going to now select uh, the vertices of the pentagon in order using the polygon tool that I got from the uh, toolbar. Uh, and then I'm going to give it a color. Oh, by the way, the last uh, vertex, you have to double click so it understands you are done with the polygon tool so this is the polygon tool uh, the version we use is the first one because you already had the perimeter segments um, I would like my starfish to have a little bit more exciting color so let's aim for uh, right now maybe a red color and we could change it differently uh, by the way if you don't like the opacity that you see here what you could do is you could select uh, the seg uh, the polygon interior and go to uh, edit properties there is an opacity option from very transparent to very opaque I like uh, my polygons very opaque so I'm gonna select that option okay so we're almost uh, there um, so what we're going to do is first of all let's make this into a tool that we could use in a minute so I'm gonna select everything in the uh, the Pentagon I created go to create new tool I'm gonna to call this uh, Pentagon and always a good idea to test your new tool left to right it opens like that very good now the idea is basically this we're going to create a baby replica of the pentagon on uh, one of the sides rotated by that angle and shrunk by this ratio that's the effect that you get here you as you notice 
Uh, each of the pentagon is getting smaller by a scale. Uh, and then you're going to notice as uh, the arms move, the relationship between the pentagons change. There's an angular rotation there. Okay? So, uh, let's get to work. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to first of all memorize this ratio. I select the ratio parameter, transform, mark the scale factor. And then, I'm going to dilate this uh, segment by, in this case, 0 0.9 uh, 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 scale factor. 90%. So what I do is I double click on this endpoint to declare it as the center of dilation. I select the other endpoint. I go to transform dilate because we just memorized this number it remembers and you're gonna notice a point appeared right here. If you make the Pentagon bigger you can see it better. Okay. Now if we did not want a movable starfish you do not want it to uh, swing its legs back and forth and I don't think most starfish uh, do that but it has it is a cool effect uh, at this point you could have just uh, done what we're going to do without doing a rotation but I enjoy the angle of rotation changing so let me show you how to do that uh, now you go to your angle option transform mark your angle and now we're going to rotate this point around this center by that angle, 30 degrees that we memorized. So the way I do that is double click on this point to declare it a center of rotation. Select this point, transform rotate, uh, and uh, the angle of rotation here is uh, 30 degrees. Okay. Uh, it lands on the inside, which is sometimes confusing for people. So I'm going to just go to the parameter, and I'm going to put a minus sign in the front so it looks a little bit uh, uh, outside and it's easy to understand what we're going to do. Okay. Now, this point on the perimeter, it turns out we're not going to need it again. So I'm going to just permanently hide it. And then the fun begins. We're going to do an iteration. So the iteration is, I select the ancestors of my construction. I select the left endpoint, right endpoint. Remember, once we had those, we created the pentagon and everything else. Transform iterate. Now it's going to ask me, what is your new left endpoint, right endpoint? This is my new left. Don't panic. This is my new right and what I would like to do is I would like to increase the iterations. So I'm going to uh, go up to uh, a number of times. I think 15 should be probably plenty. Um, you can go a little bit more if you want it. Um, I'm just going to go to 15. And um, now when you iterate that, you're going to see that it actually fold it on itself. Um, now you can change the ratio here to 0.8 um, and you're going to notice that the, uh, uh, the, the the arms that you have created also shrinks because every time it is now shrinking by an 80% factor. Uh, now select your angle tool and press the plus key or the minus key and you're going to notice uh, this is on the keyboard that I'm doing you're going to notice that you're able to give the arm some mobility because the angle is changing each time okay uh, so here is uh, the uh, arm that we have created now what we're going to do is we're going to convert this into a tool and actually at this point it might be beneficial for us to do a number of things uh, let us uh, select all the segments so I'm gonna go to the uh, segment tool edit select all segments and I'm gonna manually select these iteration segments if you select one group the rest gets selected and what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a, a color. So I'm going to make them black. Uh, let's decide on tin 
or tick you could decide um, the other thing that I am not terribly happy about are these iteration points so I'm gonna actually hide them so I'm gonna uh, leave the original points intact because you're gonna need that as the tool but as I select one group uh, here all of the members of that group gets highlighted so I'm going to go to display hide them hide the iterated images uh, so that um, it looks a little bit cleaner Alrighty, now observe you have an arm here that is movable and it's guided by these parameters. So what we're going to do is we're going to select everything we created here in terms of the arm and the angle and the ratio and go to create new tool. And now let's call it uh, something like spiral arm. And if you show the script view, it's going to basically tell you, give me two points uh, give me two points A and B these are the initial two points and give me an angle measurement and a ratio measurement and I'll create this for you okay so uh, you may want to just experiment with this on your own so it's gonna tell you uh, give me a point give me another point now when you click on the angle and the ratio it will replicate this this is how the tool works this is a rather advanced tool making uh, we're doing here because in addition to what you have constructed you also have to uh, select the parameters that went to in, into its construction alrighty we are ready now to have fun with our uh, object uh, we're going to now use the Pentagon tool to create a central body for this uh, creature we're creating. And then we're going to go to our spiral arm tool and we're going to go left to right. First, nothing seems to happen, but the moment you click on the angle and the ratio, those arms will appear. Okay, so you just keep doing this left to right to angle and ratio left to right to angle and ratio left to right to angle and ratio and lastly uh, left to right to angle and ratio okay and observe uh, if you change your ratio I'm selecting the ratio and I'm putting uh, pressing the minus keyboard you can change your dilation factor if you put a plus sign which is shift plus um, you shift equals I should say uh, it is the plus keyboard uh, you can change the ratio I kind of like uh, 0.85 uh, is pretty nice and do the same for the angle measurement if you select the angle measurement and press the plus minus keyboard you're gonna notice this creature is unfolding and folding back etc okay so here is that now the last bit of this uh, is the animation aspect um, I would like to show you how this is done so select your angle option and then go to edit action button animation it's gonna ask you uh, how do you want to do your animation I would like to go by directional so it goes from uh, you know one end of the spectrum to the other and then comes back and then I don't want things to be too fast so I'm gonna change this to 15 degrees units per second and it's asking you the domain uh, by trial and error, I, I discovered that if you go from 25 degrees to about, uh, I don't know, 60 degrees, I found that this is a nice uh, spectrum, but you could play with this for sure. Uh, and let's test it. So it sort of curls and then goes and to the other side. Actually, observe the other side, it could go a little bit more. So I'm going to now. Uh, select my animation button from the left corner edit its properties 
and I just realized that I can uh, go a little bit further. Uh, let me just try 70 degrees here. Uh, I hope this is the correct direction here. So this will go from this side. Oh, 70 is on the other side. All the way to. So it's the other end point that I actually wanted to uh, change. So I'm going to go again, edit the properties of the button. Uh, so I should uh, be able to go a little bit lower. So let's put a zero here. Let's see what happens. Okay, you could definitely try things to your heart's desire. So it folds on this direction, unfolds in the other direction. Ooh, okay. All righty. Couple of last uh, bits. I am not a big fan of the points there I'm seeing. So I'm going to select all the points by going to the point tool, edit select all points, display, hide them and then uh, I'm going to change this ratio to be a little bit larger. Let's do it. Let's try 0.9. Okay. Unfold, fold. You can see what's happening here. Good. And then as a last step you could decide uh, whether you want to change the background color to something watery uh, so you could decide let's actually do it uh, something a little bit of a happy tropical color here um, so you can see how your uh, starfish is going to fold and unfold etc okay so this is a fun construction it was actually taught to me by two of my students uh, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to hearing what you create. Take care.